guys, welcome back to The Frugal Life with Mercedes. Today I am in my bedroom at my parents' house. I think I have a good setup, um, a place where I can show you guys my different hauls. Um, so I'm going to be playing with it a little bit and see what works best for me. Um, so I appreciate all of you guys bearing with me and all that. Um, today I have a Blue Ridge Hospice Thrift Store haul. Um, I really needed clothes. Um, if some of you guys have been watching me for a while, I've lost 40 pounds in a little over a year. Um, and my clothes are just threadbare and they're just bad. And I just, you know, and the ones that are okay are really way too big and all that kind of stuff. So I went and got some new clothes and some other stuff. And I can't wait to show you guys what I got. So to start with, I got a bath towel. This was $2. Um, it looks brand new. Um, it's very soft. Then I got this book by Joanne Fluke, The Blackberry Pie Murder. If you guys like mysteries, Joanne Fluke is one of my personal favorites. Um, she has a series, The Hannah Swenson Mysteries. Um, and I think there's like 25 or 30 of these. And they're called Cozy Mysteries. And this is a really good hardcover book. And I think it was $2. And then they, um, I think I paid $1.50 for it because they did, were having a sale. Then I got a fabric shower curtain. Um, I don't need a shower curtain at present um, because, again, I'm staying with my parents. But I'm buying stuff for my new place little by little as I find it. Um, and this was $4 brand new. And it's a nice floral pattern. Then this I was really excited about. This is um, a warm, I guess, I don't know what you guys call it, but I call it like a casserole warmer. And it looks brand new. And so you can put your casseroles in there or whatever to keep them warm. And I do volunteer, so I need to be able to keep stuff warm. And this is just nice to have. I was calling it my church lady year. And this was $8, which in and of itself is a really great price. But this was actually on sale. And I paid $6 for it. And the inside look, looks pristine. It looks brand new, to tell you the truth. And I like that it's patriotic. I like the stars on it. Um, I wish I had stripes on it, stars and stripes. But it's really nice. I got some clothes. Clothes are kind of hard to show on camera, but I got this dress. It's black and white. It's super flowy. Then I got this tank top. It's gray with flowers. It's very soft. And then I got this. Um, they had it in the beach cover-up stuff, but I'll wear this just as is year-round. This is totally my style. Um, I thought this was super cute. Then they got these three tank tops. This one says strong fearless proud and this is just going to be mostly for working out um and then this one also is like working out we'll see though usually my workout gear becomes my regular gear and then this is a really sexy top um i'm excited to go to wear this out on a date or something i think that'll be really cute um and i wear tank tops year round um i think i own one t-shirt i've worn tank tops um, every day for the last 10 years. That's really like what I like. So I really don't buy anything with sleeves. These are some leggings. They've got like a nice um, blue and gray print on them. And they're actually pretty thick. Um, they're very soft inside like fleece. So these are definitely going to be for the winter months. Then I got this cute tank top. Again, it's like a workout tank top, but I'll probably just end up wearing it as a regular shirt. And then I got this really pretty dress. This is from Ann Taylor, uh, Ann Taylor Loft. Um, and I'm not super big into brands, but I know that that's a decent brand. I just thought the dress looked nice. Um, so I got those three as well. Last but not least, I got this really pretty top. It's pretty much sheer, which is fine with me. Um, really pretty. It's got the nice buttons down the back. And then I got this lovely dress. I can't wait to wear this. It's just fun and flowy. And the blue is really nice. And I thought that was good. And uh, yeah. So today I spent $74.50, which is a bit much. Um, but the dresses were like 8 and $9. Um, so... I'm pretty happy with that. It would cost a lot more if I went to a regular thrift store. The Blue Ridge Hospice, I think, can be kind of pricey. And I get what they're doing is is good. But, um, 
nobody's going to pay $9 for a Walmart shirt that's got holes in it and stuff. And so you really have to pick through stuff just like any thrift store. Um, but there's some thrift stores that are local to me that are just like small church ran thrift stores. And those are really my favorite because everything's a dollar, $2. Um, I don't mind spending $9 on a used dress. Um, but what I do have a problem with is when it's like, I saw a really cute dress today I wanted to get and it had a huge rip in it. And I was like, why does it say $12? Like, you know, and that kind of stuff happens all the time. Like I get that there's oversight, but if it's all the time, then, you know, so, but I do encourage you guys to check out your local thrift stores, especially the small ones. Um, those in my opinion are the best, but if you're new to thrift stores, you might want to try a Goodwill or Salvation Army or one of the big name ones, um, to get your feet wet. So please consider subscribing to my channel, um, comment down below, comment down below. Let's get to know each other and, uh, consider subscribing to this channel. And I also have an Instagram, the frugal life of Mercedes. And until next time guys, bye.